For 40 years now, there's been a war raged on communities of color, the war on drugs. But hopefully that's about to change with the Obama administration's focus from incarceration to treatment. But right now, if you or a loved one are addicted to drugs, you don't have access to treatment, you have access to prison. If you are a nonviolent drug offender, you don't have access to food stamps or to funding for college or maybe not even to public housing. And because of racial profiling and unfair sentencing policies, you become a target for law enforcement, especially if you're black or Latino or Asian or Native American. For instance, although blacks are only 12% of the U.S. population and only 13% of drug users, they are 38% of people who are arrested and 59% of those who are convicted on drug abuses. These are people people who are denied access to the right to vote, people who are denied access to their own families when they're in prison, and once they serve their time, these are people who are even are denied access to a good living wage job. It's perpetual punishment. Whole communities are being devastated because we don't recognize drug addiction as an illness. It's time to start saying no to criminalizing whole communities and start saying yes to lifting them up.